for me personally, my discipline is what makes me so successful. Training is hard and, and it's long, and if you don't have the discipline to show up when you don't want to, you'd never go. You know, if I only went to train the times where I'm feeling good or, or that I'm feeling in the mood to go do it, I wouldn't do it. Being away from my family, away from my kids, away from my fiance, my friends, I'm kind of isolated by myself. I don't hang out with fighters. I don't hang out with athletes. I hang out with regular people, and those people aren't in my sport. If I wasn't disciplined, I just wouldn't do it, you know? And, and then when it comes down to the fight, I'm obviously an instinctual fighter, but, but there's, a, there's, there's a lot of discipline that comes along with that. Your instincts are, are, are really just, it's, it's really just training coming out. You know, in, in, in the fights, I have to be able to listen to my coaches. I have to trust them and, and be disciplined to, to do exactly what they want me to do. Stepping in the octagon, it's the biggest adrenaline rush. Like, you'll never experience it anywhere else because you know what's about to happen. You know that the other man that's in there, especially at this level, is one of the most dangerous men walking the planet. The crowd's going crazy. You see Bruce Buffer walking in, it's, it's insane. So I don't care how many planes you jump out of, I don't care how many times you plunge you jump or all the crazy stuff you do, you'll never ever feel that rush it's like nothing else matters. When I'm in the heat of battle, I don't really feel the crowd. It's like it's just me and him. I hear my coaches, but other than that, I don't really hear the, the roars of the crowd when a punch is landed or, or, the, or the boos if they're not enjoying it. I, don't, I guess I don't really notice my surroundings because I'm just in the moment that I'm in. And it's probably because I just enjoy being there so much. There it is. That's it. That's it. Everybody likes to win. Not everybody enjoys the actual action of fighting. That, that's what I love more than anything in the world. I love the feeling of landing a clean punch, and I, I like being in those, those really tight exchanges where you got punches whizzing by your face. Oh, drops him on the elbow. Everything about it just drives me crazy. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I can't fight anymore because I don't know where I'm gonna get that rush. I think hard is the unwillingness to submit. And, and that's in every sense of, of, of the game. There's guys out there that are better than I am. There's guys that are stronger, there's guys that are faster, but no one's gonna out-heart me. It's never gonna happen. I want it more than anybody else. And, and that's why I'm where I'm at. Earlier in my career, I wasn't anywhere close to as good as I am now. I got through a lot of fights and a lot of situations just off of pure heart because I just wanted it more. And, that, and that's what having heart means to me. It's the burning fire to succeed. By any means necessary, I'll do whatever it takes to get the win. He's down on the scorecard. He's got about half the round left to, to get this win. That right hand's left. I never lose my heart. You know, I, I never lose that unwavering will to win. You're exhausted, you're broken, you're tired, but you still have it. He is a ferocious competitor. No matter how many rounds I'm down or how bad I'm beaten or, or whatever, I always feel like I can win. And then the big Lionheart Smith, wow, continues his rise to the top. I think your legacy is something that's important, but when this career is all said and done and, and I hang it up, I hope that they say that I treated everyone with respect, that I carried myself with some amount of pride, that I didn't step on someone else to get to where I'm going. I want to keep doing what I love as long as I can and, and supporting my family to do that. As long as my friends and family are proud of the things that I've done and are proud to say that I'm their friend or that I'm their dad or that I'm their husband, that's all I really care about. <laughs>